And I told you, and fucking Wardo, I tamed those goblins fair and square. Maybe if you stopped feeding them and actually gave them booze like they wanted, they'd be loyal. Call me again and you'll see why the IRS stopped sending me these cease and desist letters. <laughs> Hi there, kids. Ignore that previous phone call. Someone decided to fuck around, so your good old great uncle artificer is helping them find out. Yes, I know I said great uncle because I'm old, unlike our audience. Today's episode is simple, Beholders and You! But Artificer, I hear you mumbling in solitary confinement while holding your phone with your left hand. Well, what the hell is a Beholder? Well, my fellow rocket fuel to front to every non-crafting god, a Beholder is what happens when paranoia itself dons a flesh suit and gets way into Lovecraft books. And yes, that includes the rampant racism. You might also be asking, how can you get out of said solitary confinement? Simple, next time don't get caught. <laughs> Beholders are powerful, but they have one crucial weakness. Yes, I hear you shouting, the eyes, the eyes, and yes, you're right, but you can't just shoot it or swing a sword. It's got everything from a charm ray to a disintegration ray, and honestly, I'm not fucking with that. You might fuck with that, but that's because you're an idiot. But once again, you owe the kingdom plenty of back taxes. Guess that underground undead fighting ring didn't really pay off, huh? Stupid fucking red tape. The solution is simple. You have the cantrip light. Build a homunculus infusion in whatever form you want. My personal favorite is making it look like a goose, since those fuckers will fight God butt naked, high on bath salts, on a Sunday morning without any idea where they are. Then, where its eyes would be, place a few enchanted stones. Enchanted with what, you may ask? Well, stop asking stupid questions I already told you. The light spell. Work them to turn on and off and back and forth, and send in the goose. What the hell is even that? Congratulations, you just built a walking, flying, capable, honking, angry flashbang ready to fight a beholder just because you accused it of stealing bread. What's that? Too poor to make a homunculus? Enchant a number of rocks with a light cantrip and have them set to go off rapidly. Ah! Then, much like that kid in school that always talked during silent reading time, Bruce, held the beholder with rocks. The flashing lights will blind it and then accuse it of never having a father. The resulting psychic damage will be so funny it might just heal you. And that's how you deal with beholders. What other creature you'd want to fuck over with duct tape and rusty nails? Remember, science isn't about why, it's about why the fuck not.